I had a little shopping spree today. Right, your face. That's right. <laughs> Hello, Dolphiliacs and Disney Dust Collectors. This is Anthony. And I'm Ray. And <laughs> I went on a little shopping spree today. You may have noticed. So we have another haul video for you, darlings. Another haul video. You see, box lunch money. It is prime time Ooh. for box lunch money. Mm -hmm. And we had about, you know, $135 uh, dollars worth in box lunch money coupons to spend. And so Raymond actually worked today. Mm -hmm. So I took it upon myself to drive, not to the nearest uh, box lunch no location. So I went ahead and went to the Ingram Park location and it did not disappoint. They're, they have, really? yeah, they have such a large amount of merchandise and so many beautiful bags. And I was lucky enough to be able to look at all the different placement bags because these are all prints that I got. And, um, but I was lucky enough to really snag the most prime real estate for all your favorite Disney characters. <laughs> And I did want to start out and just, um, I've seen a number of different videos that kind of talk about box lunch money and how to use it. And I don't really want to give away my secrets. Oh my God, we'll be here all night. But I, let's just get it straight. It's very flexible. So if you find yourself getting frustrated that you're not using it in the same way, you know it, it most likely is, is that you don't have the privilege of having one close to you or being able to drive to one that's, you know, far away from you. So I am lucky that I am able to do that. But I will say that I've developed a few tried and true techniques for myself. So whenever box lunch money, the period ends, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get a large order in within the next week or two of all the things that you didn't get that were excluded or that are new things that are coming Just up. Put in your cart everything that you didn't get that you wanted or you know a few items that you realize that maybe you don't want that much, but you do want them. What? And they're gonna help you get a large amount of box lunch money. Because essentially okay. what you want to do is have an order in for $180, $120, because then you're going to be able to get box lunch money equivalent to 60 bucks. So it'd be $60 off of a hundred dollar and 20 You're purchase. accumulating the same Yeah, or $90 off of a $180 purchase because later on when box lunch money does come around your online purchases only allow you to stack two codes so my strategy is just to get two codes that are packed full and loaded now I, I haven't actually gotten two codes or used two codes online that are $90 off a $180 purchase yeah but I have done $60 off of a $120 and $45 off of a $90 purchase. So for instance, what one of the reasons I was able to get such a good uh, bang out of those box lunch money codes is that I went in store and after placing an order for bags online that I knew were kind of ubiquitous and that they're gonna be in stock in the store, but I know that they allow for box lunch money on the site. So I go ahead and put that order in using the box lunch money codes. And then in, because when you use them in store, they're going to actually keep them. So you're not going to have access to those codes unless you know, you take a picture or whatever. And then when you go in store, you're going to be able to use those codes again, but on bags that you wouldn't have been able to use them for online. So a lot of these stores, because they're franchised out and they have you know, various owners, they're a little, they're more flexible in what they're able to do. But I've had, I have never had a situation so far where they said, oh no, these are excluded. So, you know, it just, I know that some people do run across that. It's just not something that I've had to deal with, with you know, yeah. so. <clears throat> 
And what I mean, really and truly though, it's just driving more sales. I, I think it's a beautiful thing because if you know how to use them, what you're doing is you're just helping get rid of that stock so more things can come in and I'm just gonna buy more things anyway. So it really is a beautiful Fair. circle of life. I've never been so in love with a retailer. They are a retailer because it's such beautiful, luxurious, high quality products, but you're able to partner with them as a consumer to make sure that you are getting the best bang for your buck. You're getting so much value. Box Lunch is my favorite store. I love Box Lunch. <laughs> We can tell. Yeah, so that's my little uh, spiel on box lunch money and how to use With it. With box lunch money, um, to know that you're getting the best bang out of your buck, it's going to be have to be as close to a 50% off discount that you can get. So you're going to want what the discount is to be as close to what you're paying for. So it's really you really you are going to pay more than what you're getting in discount. You're just trying to minimize that gap as much as possible to make it the most equal because yeah. then you're getting the best thing out of your buck. So for this particular haul, things um, that I did get for from Box Lunch in store would have been about $290, $300 total without Box Lunch Mini applied. Okay. But I got a $135 discount and I ultimately paid $155, like $168 with tax and all that jazz. So yeah it felt really good i got so many beautiful things and we will have a second haul video coming out for the online purchase oh i was like you bought more stuff and you didn't tell me okay. so wait is there more i'm i'm thinking there's more in this bag Same. than there is this one so do you want to start with this one let's go ahead and just, just start, start with, with the dolls? yeah we'll start with the disney store items because uh raya and the last dragon okay well then we have to are, start with them the, yeah raya and the last dragon just came out we haven't watched it yet but we plan on it but i went ahead and got raya and sisu and sisu and they're really beautiful i know that you had been mentioning how much you like them yeah they're real cute <laughs> and okay well first and foremost i love sisu's hair that the, just her hair alone is the best thing in the world. Wow. And just like the overall character designs, we, okay, so funny story. We actually clocked this a little bit before we started looking into the movie a little bit more, but we had a feeling that it was a very Southeast Asian vibe. We, we actually thought- But of an amalgamation Lao. of like cultures. Yeah, we, we, we thought of Lao and uh, Thailand to begin with. Um, and then when we started looking into more about the movie, we noticed that they did include Lao, Thailand, Vietnam, uh, Cambodia, Indonesia as parts of their inspiration. So we felt a little proud clocking that, and I love the designs that are really showing. Well, maybe those. not clocking it, but noticing it. Or, yeah. <laughs> clocking, noticing, potato, tomato. I said potato and tomato for a reason. Um, but seeing that the designs are very true to those cultures is really nice. Yeah, there's a great amount of detail. It's really good cultural representation as well. I think they're super cute and I love them. They are so beautiful and I'm so excited to watch the movie. I was going to I was going to sleep on them a little bit more, but I decided, you know what? I'm, after I watch the movie, I'm probably going to regret not getting them. So might as well ahead and move forward. It is an instant Disney classic, you know. That's what they're saying. And by they, I mean the trailer. So. You had to. I had to get, um, Chantel Dutel is another creator here on YouTube and um, they recently did a review for Anna. And so I wanna call her Totally Hair Anna, but that is, it is not that. It's Anna Hair Play Doll. Um, but, which is not really the best name, just say, uh, Anna Hair Play Doll. But she's beautiful and I, uh, I probably will get around one day to like having her in a custom gown because I did just think that it was so inspiring how long her hair is. It is. I'm, 
I'm getting so many Rapunzel vibes from the hair that I can't. I love it. She's cute though. Anna is cute. I love Anna as a character. Well, and I love her like red, like a very light red. It's between strawberry blonde and like an auburn. And it's so long and beautiful. Like I was thinking about trying on Esmeralda's Midnight Masquerade gown on her and see how that looks. Oh, yes, I got the box lunch exclusive Belle. She's cute. You like her? Yeah. Well, I just love Belle, so, and Beauty and the Beast is our first date, so. She's so cute with the little book. I it's know, adorable. I went, I actually, I did go through a number of them just to make sure that the paint on the hands is up to par. That, I am a little bit picky about that on Funko Pops because I do want the paint to look tight in certain areas. Oh, and I didn't even see the other ones in this. She's so pretty. I know, I love like the different greens in uh, in the dress. They got it very accurate. And that is, I think, my favorite Belle dress. I think with the 30th anniversary of Belle, I'm hoping that Disney Store is going to give us a limited edition Belle in rags this year for 2021 and i know bell in the green dress isn't really her in rags that would be her in her like blue dirndl like the opening <laughs> i don't know like that oh blue God. um apron style dress that we mm -hmm. like that would be her bell in rags dress but anyway i'm hoping that we're gonna get a bell in rags for these are I, really cute i couldn't pass it there's the dingle hopper on the side yeah i was about to say that they put a dingle hopper on the side so i really can i've been looking at these ears for a while now they're so cute and I, i'm usually not a fan of like clear sequins but because these are a clear like opalescent pearlescent that They're really huge. yeah they really go so well with that teal color the teal satin fabric on the actual ears and i do love that they made um the bow the seashells yeah the bow is I the seashells it. of ariel's bra her bikini in the film and just the color story here is beautiful it's so ariel and then we have the dingle hoppa mm -hmm. And it's awesome, and I love how one of the the sporks, one of the one, one of the, the yeah one of, yeah one of the points on the fork is bent out, oh. so it's very movie accurate. So, okay, yeah, it's like the one that they have in her actual treasure. treasure yeah, because they're like, I, but yeah, I love this set of ears. It's such a beautiful like aqua color because it's almost that mm -hmm. like Cinderella blue color that they have on the actual headband but then they do have more of a teal and but all those colors and the purple and the golds that's all pulled in through the iridescence and the pearlescence in the sequins the color of the ears is really true to like ariel's tail yeah it's it's like the, these this makes me want really the 30th accurate. anniversary doll <laughs> limited edition doll anything would make you want the 30th anniversary doll oh <laughs> I like them. I think they're cute. I can't even see them in my head, but I think they're cute. I love these ears. And now we both have a set of ears. Yeah. Which is really nice. We'll probably end up with more. Wait, but... what are my ears? Oh, the rainbow. Wait, the rainbow yeah, ones. The well, either way, I don't yeah. care. Well, and you have the I love solution. how, yeah, Raymond's just claiming these ears. Like, I, I think they're cute. <laughs> just saying. But, speaking of princesses. Now we can go ahead and get into the box lunch and Okay, so they, I looked at three different placements on this one, and I went ahead and went with this one, even though it did have a little mark on it. I think it's from the factory of Loungefly. If you're getting a cream bag, just accept if there's a mark on it. Even if you found another perfect placement bag, it's, it might have another little, it's like black soot or black um some kind of Something particles from, like, the, from the assembly factory. Line. i hope you love this place it's, tiana's right here i know center. so we got rapunzel twice on both sides and with the set that we have we were upset because we didn't have aurora 
Oh yeah, because we didn't have like a really clear shot of Aurora on the mini yeah. backpack or the wallet, which we got the wallet. I'm so excited that we have them all. Uh, so okay, I will say this. But look, Aurora's right here. Yeah, Andy I was Bell. gonna say that because we have these three right up here in the front, and I haven't even there. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I love it so much. And now we have the full little set yeah. and it's amazing. But this placement is awesome because we have Ariel right here. We do get a full shot of Briar Rose, Sleeping Beauty, Aurora, whatever. We also get Belle. So if you open this up, our Belle isn't even cut off by anything, which is really nice. So we get Aurora, Belle, and Ariel. We also get a really good shot of Mulan and double of the Rapunzel's. Um, we know, get the, Snow White. The Sundrop Flower in this is so special, in particular the Sundrop Flower and Ariel's Hibiscus, like really add a lot to mm -hmm. the pattern. So I like that. Um, I really do like that Ariel's right there at the bottom with her flowing hair. It's perfect. Oh, and we get another Mulan over here. So we get double, double Rapunzel, double Mulan. And Snow White, right? and double snow white it's amazing oh, so the front of this is great i do love this little latch well because we're like sleeping on snow white like we don't even bring snow up that's because she was like the first of the first of the everything and she's the it. alpha the omega Did, are those like petunias that she has i don't sure. even know you, I can't garden to save my life. I kill everything. So, and then on the back, we have this beautiful cream colored Disney lounge fly plaque. And right underneath it is a gorgeous shot of my girl, Tiana. I am so happy. And it's, it's beautiful placement with the logo and Tiana right there. It, I love it so much. We get another double Rapunzel. So Rapunzel is all over yeah, this bag. She owns this bag. <laughs> we get another double Mulan. So those are like our two girls on this bag. Just Mulan and Rapunzel just winning everything. We got a really good shot of Snow White. We get a cute little shot of Belle down here at the bottom. And then another Aurora. So I'm, I just love, 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 love this bag. It is beautiful. I have the full set now. I am so stinking happy. We do have the crossbody strap inside in that same brown, but then the lining that matches the mini backpack and there is a pocket up front, but there's that lining where they all look like they're squished in there like sardines, but they're best friends. So yeah, do we have, is there a pocket back here? No, there isn't a pocket back here, but still there's more of that lining. And up. I am so stinking happy about this. I love it so much. I want to take this set everywhere well, with me. The wallet's me. so good too, because we have Belle, Mulan, Mulan Tiana. Tiana. We get a great Ariel shot right of Ariel. There. And now we have one that honors Aurora. And I love that because we didn't get a good shot of Aurora. I mean, yeah, we do have Aurora right here mm -hmm. on the wallet. So yeah, we have the full set now. Yay. But yeah. Oh, but, I love them so much. Yeah. Okay, so this is your bag, babe. I slept on this one for a long time. And then I finally seeing it in the store in person with the blue, like the Robin's Egg blue details. I do love that blue. It's so beautiful. And the placard has that same, like, it's a, it's more of a powder blue, I would say. Yeah. Because it's um, just a little bit more muted than a Robin's Egg blue. But this, I looked at a few different placements and I really wanted one with Flounder and Sebastian, kind of like front and center. But then also I wanted Pascal and the Lanterns. And then I always love uh, Sleeping Beauty. That was one of my original favorite Disney films. So this was actually the perfect one. Although I did see one that had Miko front and center that was really cute. And then another one that had- Isn't it Miko and Flick? Yeah, Miko and Flick. she's tiny. Yeah, she's there's tiny, tiny little But Flick. she's there. No, but we, and this one, we did get lucky because we have good placement with all of them. Wait, did I see a boo? There is a boo. Oh, a boo from so Aladdin. Here, let's go. Oh. This is such a lovely bag. I am now obsessed with this print. I love everything about it. I really did sleep on it and it took me about two months or maybe a month and a half to fall in love with it. But in store, Girl. I just knew that I had to get it. So one of the reasons I was like, okay, front and center, we have the spindle and the spinning wheel and the different forest animals that Briar Rose meets. 
Aurora Meats and a Sleeping Beauty. And so I love Sleeping Beauty. I have a growing Sleeping Beauty collection, especially things concerning like the three fairies and the animals in Sleeping Beauty. That's really one of my favorite things besides Maleficent, obviously. And then we do have what I wanted, which is Flounder and Sebastian with a little bit of coral and some seagrass. And then it looks like too, like if we can, I'll just like get in there. It looks like there is the little seahorse. It's so cute. Do you see him? Oh, the, like little, the little announcer. Yeah, they have the tiny, yeah, the little announcer. Now announcing King Triton. <laughs> that, yeah, that little guy. Yeah, they have him. He's oh my God. And he's tiny. See, that's what I love about this print is how much detail I never would have noticed. there is in there. Because, yeah, and even in the Sleeping Beauty right here, yeah, we have a rabbit. Well, it would have been nice to have the three fairies, would but nice they're technically the they're not animals. Yeah, we should have the owl, but we do have the bluebird, who's kind of more of a green bird and a squirrel. But we have the roses here with the blue rose in the center, signifying that the blue gown is her optimal gown, is her rightful gown. But then we also have the pink roses on the side to let us not forget. And then we have Abu right here, and he's so cute. And they didn't add, They I feel like they could have put Iago, even though that's like the villain, but oh well. Yeah. But um, yeah, Abu is really cute. And then we have the mice from Cinderella. And that is so beautiful. We do have the little pumpkin in the motif there as well. And then this is like something that completely sold me on it was that we do have Pascal on this front pocket with the lights, the lanterns from Tangled. And it's so beautiful. And then we actually, right on the corner here, we get the full Snow White motif because we have the bluebirds, the magical bluebirds right up top. We have the deer, the chipmunk, and then the poison apple right at the corner, which I think is really cool. So right here in the corners, in perfectly symmetrical positioning, is the motif for the princess and the frog for Tiana and Naveen. And I love that they have the lily pads right here in the corners mirroring each other. And it really just brings some symmetry to an all over print that is kind of unexpected and makes the bag so much more special. And especially here, we have- And then right here, perfectly positioned, like as if they are resting on the placard, is the dog from Mulan. Uh, what's his name? I don't even remember his name, but she calls him little brother. Yeah, little and brother. Doing chores. Doing chores. But yeah, and then we have the cricket. What's the cricket's name? The cricket. Cricky. Cricky pack of bags. But that is so cute. Just sitting, little brother, sitting right here on top of the plaque. And then you can notice too, they have these blue flower details and blue sparkles that help fill the space in the bag. And it's just so gorgeous. And then again, we have a little Puskal right under the placard and with the lanterns and then another flounder in Sebastian. So yeah, I'm just like so enamored by this placement. And then on the side pocket, we do have a full Miko from Pocahontas with Flit. And that's so beautiful. I love the sunflowers right there because we do see it right here. We have those flowers in the Mulan mo mo motif right here cut off though. And then the sunflowers in the Miko in Pocahontas motif there. And then we have another flounder in Sebastian. So that's why I really could not say no to this one because there's so many motifs for flounder and Sebastian. And then from uh, Brave, we have the, the brother. The little brother bear. And yeah. here on the back, we just have a good, we have a good all over look at all of them. From Aladdin, Snow White, Cinderella, Tangled, Mulan, Brave, Little Mermaid, and Pocahontas. And I do really love the Pocahontas one. I love the the style of the trees that they do. It's really, it's really cute. It's kind of sophisticated in the way that it's just the blue and white. 
Yeah. And it is that matching blue to the accents outside. And he just has various, like, sidekick symbols from I think each movie. Like, there's, there's Little Brother. Flounder. Yeah, that one's Flounder. And Little Brother and little I See brother. Flit. Really cute. And the zipper pocket, which is nice as well. Yeah. That's great. This is such a cute bag. I love that. This I one. like those <laughs> one. Raja's so cute. I love Raja. Now we have one that's on the way that is going to be a gift to one of my best friends. And But this, I couldn't say no to this placement. And I'll just, we're gonna come In up and show, yeah, we'll come and show you. There was another one that they did have there but this one is so amazing because what we we literally have the perfect placement because we have a full lounging raja right here with the flowers going across and then a a derpy raja right there and so i was like oh my god that, both of that. when i saw this i was like oh my goddess this is the one but yeah we get both of them and, and a full one. Mm -hmm. Like, I love that. And I mean, it's just the same print all the way around, but it's just, it's beautiful. It's really well done. Yeah. I love the blue in place of the black. It It's not even electric blue, but it kind of almost looks electric just with the color story that's going it's on. It's like a powdered cobalt. Yeah, that's a good way to describe yeah. it. Yeah. And I and do it, love mm -hmm. the zipper pull. They have this golden jasmine face, which is very well done. And I love, I love the colors against that like really soft pale pink. Yeah. With the gold, it looks so good. It would have been nice to have some print here. Yeah, some. Or there. even jasmine there, and that would have been cool. But I'm not complaining. Look at this placement on the side pocket. That is beautiful. We get two lounging rajas. And then on the other side pocket, we get, oh my, we get two derpy Rajas, full derpy Rajas and a lounging Raja face. One of our dream bags is the like celestial ghost Jasmine silhouette lounging yeah. on it's Raja hilarious. in the clouds. It's such a heavenly one. And then the lining on this, it's not too special. It's just a pale pink with white polka dots. I feel like they definitely could have done more on the lining, but it's... But the and our last one is... And we're just going to launch right into it because this video is so long. Oh my God. But it's the cat's bag. <laughs> I actually got this for my nanny, my grandma, or my, my maternal grandmother. Um, I got her the purse uh, crossbody version. And oh. yeah, for her birthday. I thought you got her the mini bag. Yeah, for her, okay. Yeah, for her 77th birthday, I got her that bag. It up. And she's, it's like a hot commodity. Everybody wants it. They're asking her about it. They all want to touch it. And she's like, nobody can touch can it. I you can look at it. <laughs> it is cute. And I'm not it even is. like super cats fan ish. Yeah, I mean, I love Disney cats. So. I and I will say that the aesthetics finally got me because obviously I do love color, but I really do love a nice gray with a soft pink. I think it's such a beautiful aesthetic, like a gray with a soft blue or a soft pink. It just looks so refined. In this bag, <laughs> I love how sharp the pictures are in the print. Oh, yeah. I think that's something that gets me. And then also just the quality, the texture and how it feels is amazing. We have Marie and Toulouse and um, Berlio is here from Aristocats and also the Jazzy Cat from Aristocats. And we, then we also have the Cheshire Cat, two different uh, versions of him. We have Oliver from Oliver and Company. Oh. And Figaro from Pinocchio, who was my original first love as a Disney cat, because I and watched... Dinah. Oh, and of course, how could I forget? Dinah's on there, too. And Dinah. And I love that they include Dinah from Alice in Wonderland. But yeah, this is such a beautiful bag, and I do love that Dinah's right here, kind of like 
yeah, you know, just a skew of center. But that's really an awesome thing about this print is that you can't really go wrong with the placement, I feel. So don't, you shouldn't have anxiety buying it online because you are going to get all of these beautiful kitties <laughs> on your bag. And then I do love this dark ebony placard that they have like where you can't really see the Disney or lounge fly until like it reads in the light, which is really awesome. And yeah, so this lining is kind of just like a blown up version. Or no, actually it's like a different kind of print because we have the jazzy cat there doing a different kind of gesture. And then we have Figaro. Oh, and that's Berlioz. So yeah, that's really cute. They do the same characters, but in different poses and in a more linear fashion. Wow, that is beautiful. And yeah, I got an, and then again, another yarn ball. That looks like Murray, right? All right, thank you, Don Piliacs and Disney Dust Collectors. You're all a bunch of stormtroopers, <laughs> all of you that made it through this entire video and impromptu reviews. We weren't supposed to do the reviews, but I have a loquacious mouth. So yeah, I understand. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, please do like, comment, and subscribe. You know, definitely hit the notification bell too. Uh, we have a lot of different content. You know, we're trying to diversify our content, have more custom dolls, and I'm gonna have some more custom dolls. Um, I need to get a video up for my Cheshire Cat doll that I made. She's finished. She's been done. She's done. Also, we do keep forgetting to say our name. So my name is Anthony. And I'm Ray. Yeah. So now you can have a good night. Have a fantabulous night.